Christmas, a time of love, a time of celebration, a time of happiness, a time where family comes together to speak about what they've done in the past, what they've done today, or what they want to do in the future. The laughter, but more importantly, the unity and the joy and the love that you get with family is what Christmas is about. But let's not forget, with Christmas comes Christmas movie. You know, Christmas does not slap the way you slap anymore. Especially the movies. Growing up, I used to love these movies, bro. That's all I would look forward to. I used to actually love family films, and I think Christmas films had a big part to play in that. Because as a kid, that that was that was a mecca for me. That was that was it. Family, good times, cheer, joy, tribulations. Not tribulations, I think they use the wrong word there. But then you grow up and then you go into the streets and then you see life for what it really is and you see how tough. How rough, how crude life is. So, got a challenge. This challenge, I got 24 hours to watch as many Christmas movies as possible. So what I did, I went online, Googled some Christmas films, and I asked on Instagram for some Christmas films. Get your Christmas hat on, get your popcorn on, and let's review some Christmas films. All right, so the first one we're watching is this Christmas. Don't know it, never seen it. I see it's got Idris Alba, I think. Chris Brown, Brown, hectic, and it's like two hours long. Let's see, man, it's been a minute. It's a drama too, so maybe it's like a Tyler Perry type of film. All right, first movie done this Christmas, finished, so it's time to give it its rating. So I think with Christmas movies, I'm gonna split it up, to, split it up into three categories. I'm gonna give a score out of five. What makes a good Christmas movie is the nostalgia, you know, how much it makes you feel like, or reminds you of being a kid, Santa, the magic, the lore, all of that stuff. The other one I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make it unity, I guess, because in all Christmas movies, it's all about, you know, love, unity, and family and all that stuff. And then the last one, I'm gonna combine it. I'm gonna have hope and redemption. And that's always important in the Christmas films. You know, in family movies, that's always the thing. Can this character, can they get to point B? Do they get there? Do we believe they can do it? So that's what we're gonna rank this stuff on. First one, nostalgia. Watching this film, they made me feel Christmassy. Yeah, it did, it did. Can't deny that. I think it was a Christmas film at its core. So because of that, I'll give it a, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Does it make me want Christmas to happen now? No, not really. For unity, it was a family, you know? So because it's a family that, that makes the whole unity part. But I'll give it a I'll give it a two, I think. I feel like they could have done a bit more with the whole unity thing. Like it kind of felt a bit rushed. And rushed in terms of the sense that each family member had their own story arc which then made it kind of frustrating as an audience member because they rushed those story arcs. So what I think would be cool is like if there was one big issue that the family had to get behind, like every single person had a problem. So it, it just got too rushed and then I, I felt more like individually they were accomplishing their things. Yeah, they had some help from the family, but it just didn't, as a family movie, a movie about a family, I just didn't feel enough unity. So I'm giving it a two. Then for Hope Redemption, yeah, I love Hope, a lot of redemption. You know, the one character, Quentin, got himself in a bad deal. He pulled up, he came back home, he stopped running away, so he fixed those demons. So there's hope, there was a redemption arc there. Um, with the lady who got cheated on, Lisa, she had a redemption arc, she completed it. So yeah, I can't, can't fight that. But then again, for me, it got a bit boring because everybody was doing that so effortlessly, you know what I'm saying? So I'm giving that, a, I'll give it a four though, because I feel like that was to the T, that was done. Cool, so the score of those gives us an average of three. So this movie is a three out of five. All right, next movie is This Holiday. I've heard a lot of hype about it. The hype I've heard is that Jack Black is playing a romantic lead, which is different for Jack Black. Two hours, 15 minutes. Why are Christmas movies so long, bro? Can you explain for five marks? So finish watching This Holiday. Um, second movie I watched, it's like 9 o'clock, almost 10, because I went out for dinner. Yeah, I think I might be able to push one more movie, and then it's, it's it for me. But let's just discuss the movie. The movie is far more structured, far more complete. It was focused. Like, there wasn't too many storylines for me to focus on and try to connect with. I could connect much easier. And it was a romance movie. I don't know the biggest fan of romance movies. I used to love them back in the day. But the streets have humbled me. Anyway, let's rate this movie. So, Nostalgia. 
Christmas vibes. Zero. I give it like a one, bro. A one for, for Christmas vibes. Just because I spoke about Christmas Eve and stuff like that, I give it like a one. But there wasn't really Christmas vibes. It didn't really flow like a Christmas movie, if you get what I'm saying. Unity was pretty good. Unity was pretty good. I give it... Unity, I'll, I'll, I'll give a four. Unity, I'll give a four. I mean, you know, these two girls, they had a bit of a connection, a bit of a bond. But I think the unity came through when people were falling in love. Um, and this also ties on the hope and redemption. Like you saw a lot of growth throughout the film, which was really good. Like you saw the other girl, Iris, gain more confidence as the show went on. Cameron Diaz, she became even more free, free spirit and more present, I think, and more vulnerable, which was really nice to see. Actually, Unity, I don't think it was that fire. But I'll give it a three. I'll give Unity a three. But Hope and... What was that? What? But the Hope and Redemption? No, I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. I feel like story fixed together really well. So that's, that's that. So let's get the final score. All right, and our average is three out of five. So it's tied with this Christmas. Now time for the next movie. I'm gonna watch The Grinch, but I'm gonna watch the newest version of The Grinch. So The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Now everyone knows that The Grinch That Stole Christmas is a classic movie. It's a classic Christmas movie. And for that, the nostalgia, the Christmas feeling, Definitely a four, maybe even a five. Actually, no, I'll give it a five. A five because it definitely gives you Christmas. Everything is Christmas. The town, the environment, the atmosphere, the people are all Christmassy, like to the T. So, yeah, no, five for nostalgia. In terms of unity, give it a four because, you know, the Grinch started off alone or just him and his dog trying to go through life, trying to mess up everybody else. Because he doesn't like Christmas, because his heart is small, because he's been hurt. Essentially trauma. And he learns how to love. How to love. And he... Yeah, he learns how to love, he learns how to appreciate Christmas and becomes a better person at the end of the film. So there is unity because people helped him, his dog helped him to just love and to heal. Hope and redemption, yeah, four as well. Like, I think he really... He looked hopeless in the beginning. And he ended the film being a better, better person. Which gives us an average rating of 4.3. So, just watched Home Alone. The nostalgia aspect, the, the nostalgia aspect, the Christmassy feeling, I got it. I got it completely. It was Christmas all around, Christmas vibes. Family was going out for Christmas, going to France for Christmas. It was Christmas to the T. When you think about Christmas, that's what you think about when you watch Home Alone. That's exactly what it is. You know, kind of the same as with this Christmas, you got the same vibe. Families coming together to spend Christmas, to have a good time together. That's what it was about. The love with your family and all that jazz. So yeah, I give it a four out of five. Mm, yeah, four out of five. I give it a four out of five for the Christmas feeling. For the unity, teamwork and all of that, I'm gonna give it a four out of five too. Even though the kid did most of the stuff alone, but there's a moment with the old man where he kind of have to reconcile his feelings towards this old man and bond with this man and realize that he needs family in his life because the kid didn't want family, you know? He was against his family. And that's what Christmas is about, right? That's what family is about. You know, you're gonna be with your family here and there, but you realize that this is your family, as annoying as they can be, as frustrating as they can be. This is your family. You love them, they love you. That's what Christmas is about. That's what love is about. That's what family is about. And I think. And then hope and redemption. Yeah, Kevin had it. Kevin had it unlocked. Hope and redemption wise, he had it unlocked. He had it unlocked. Um, so that I'll give it. I'll give it a four as well. I don't know. I think to get a five, you have to blow my mind. You have to blow my mind. And I don't think I got that. And the average for this film is four. Four out of five, man. Good film. Good Christmas film. Die hard. A Christmas film, so they say. And I'm still not entirely sure. I feel like this is a meme in terms of a Christmas film. Like, they speak about Christmas and all that stuff, but is it centered around Christmas? Maybe, but not really. It's not like the other films were reviewed, such as Home Alone, The Grinch, even The Holiday. There was more Christmas vibes and Christmas energy around those films. Whereas Die Hard is just an action film. But it's a classic action film. It's the action films of what action films. It's like... The prototype, not even the prototype, it's like the, the guidebook on how to do an action film and how to be an action hero. So because of that, I'm giving the nostalgia for this film in terms of Christmas vibes, Christmas feels. I'm giving this a one. 
I would have given it a zero, but I'm giving it a one just because they mentioned Christmas and it's Christmas music. So I'm giving it a one. In terms of Unity, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is gonna be the first zero of this film. Bro, there's no Unity. John McClane did the stuff all alone. Like, bro, he had supporting characters, but they did nothing. Like the black cop, the black cop in this film was just there for moral support and jokes. He did nothing. Mans did this whole thing alone. Mans carried everybody. So he didn't need anybody and therefore I'm giving it zero for unity. Therefore hope and redemption, yeah, I mean, when you have somebody as super powered as John McClane, you can do anything. And you got hope and you got redemption. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a four. I would have given it a five, but so because he was like a superhero and he was really fake, I'm giving it a four instead of a five. So four out of five for hope and redemption, which gives us an average of one, Point six. All right, so there you have it. I watched five Christmas films in 24 hours. Could have done more, I should have done more. But I won't lie to you, this was tough. One, it was tough because I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas movies, right? All family movies, all Christmas movies are all the same. It's always the same vibe. So actually, shout out to movies like Die Hard. Even like The Grinch is a little bit different. A little bit. But then shout out to Die Hard for being a different type of Christmas film. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to watch all the other films that I didn't watch for this challenge. And yeah, let's go over the list. Coming at number four, we've got Die Hard. And the reason why it's a number four is because in terms of the criteria for this, nostalgia, unity, hope, and redemption, it just didn't feel like it. It just, it just didn't do well in terms of the criteria. Because for me, it doesn't really feel like a Christmas movie. Coming in tied at number three, we've got This Christmas and The Holiday. Now, This Christmas, the only reason why it's in here is because yeah, I had Christmas elements, but I feel like I, I struggled to connect. I struggled to connect with the characters on any emotional level because I didn't know who to follow, who story to really care about. That was the only issue with that. That's the main issue. And then the holiday also really wasn't a Christmas movie, but it had more Christmas elements, I guess. But essentially, it was just a romance movie. But it had more Christmas elements to me, like the more lovey stuff, the more unity, the more togetherness than Die Hard had, for example. Coming in at number two, we've got Home Alone. And personally for me, Home Alone is my favorite movie out of all these movies that I watched. It, I, I loved it, I loved it again. Seeing it many years later, it's a banger. It's lit, it's classy, it's classic. Yeah, it's the one. And then coming in at number one is The Grinch. That is Christmas. That is a Christmas movie as you're ever gonna get it and you're ever gonna see it, you know? From the sad moments, the good moments, just Christmas vibes, Christmas cheer, Christmas joy. I mean, Christmas sadness, The Grinch has it all. The Grinch has it all. So that is it for this challenge. Let me know your favorite Christmas movies and let me know if you want me to do this challenge again. Till next time, which will be sometime next year, I'm taking a break. I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm celebrating all that jazz. So I'll see you guys next year sometime. So till next time, it's been your boy T-A-K-I, The Human. Don't forget the Roomba. Peace.